A church group from Denver is desperately trying to get home. They were visiting the Holy Land before all of the COVID-19 travel restrictions were instituted. Our Michael Abeda spoke with the pastor of the group this morning. And Michael, they're stuck in Jordan right now? That's right, Kathy. They say timing is everything. And while any trip to the Holy Land is an adventure, thanks to the spread of COVID-19 here in the States, this Colorado church group got a little more than they bargained for. It's been unbelievable. For Pastor John Bell, it was the trip of a lifetime, a chance to see the Holy Land. That is, until things started closing, sites and even borders. It felt like... Um, Indiana Jones. It felt it felt like everywhere we went, the doors were closing behind us and the ball was rolling and we were just barely beating it out. Eventually, he and his group ended up in Amman, Jordan, when President Trump started restricting travel. Even though American citizens are allowed to come back home from overseas, the demand for flights back soared and he and his group scrambled to find a flight back to Colorado, ever mindful that they just may be stuck there for a while. I was working with the travel agent for plans to stay here two, three weeks a month. We were already in discussions of what to do if we had to stay here. Finally, they've booked tickets to come back. And even though the airports have had long lines to get through screening and customs, they're looking forward to it. To be honest, we couldn't be happier about standing in those lines. <laughs> if, if, when we get back to the United States, we're just going to be so happy to to be back, kiss the ground, and uh, see our families and our, our dogs again. We, we, we're just, at this moment, elated and hope it works out. Now, they are literally catching one of the last flights out of Jordan. The airport closes on Monday, so if they miss their flight or it gets canceled or delayed, well, they might need those long-term plans after all. We're wishing them luck. In Denver, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado first.